Okay, so another technique that works pretty well for combining dreads in some cases is to pull the smaller dread up into the larger dread. If the dreads are the same size, this probably won't work so well. Um, best case scenario is when you have two dreads next to each other and one of them has like slowly eaten the hair from the other one just because, you know, when you went to fix loose hair, it uh, kept going the larger of the two dreads. So then the smaller of the two keeps getting smaller and smaller and smaller uh, at the roots. In that situation, this is probably the best way to go. And uh, basically all you do is pull the smaller dread up into the larger dread with a loose hair tool, okay? So what we're gonna do is see how far the smaller dread comes down when you measure it up against the other one, and it looks like it comes to just above the peyote stitch here. So what we're gonna do is um, poke the tool in right here where it comes to. We're gonna slide the tool all the way up, and then we'll grab the tip of the smaller dread and we'll pull it back in, okay? Sliding the tool through is definitely the tricky part, um, it has the point at the top like that to kind of help you guide it. You'll probably have to poke around inside the dread a little bit until you find the spot that it fits in. Depending on how tight the dread is, obviously, this could be really difficult. Usually you'll have some knotted areas that are much tighter than other parts, and if you run into one of those, you kind of have to go around it. When you pop out of the dread like that, just flip the latch up and then put it back into the dread and go just below where you popped out and then start going up again. It's helpful to spin the dread and look at all sides of it while you're sliding it up to make sure that you're staying in the middle. And the best technique seems to be to kind of squeeze the dread and tool together um, right near the top, like if the point's right here, squeeze just below. The top two fingers are used to steer the tip of the tool and push the dread so that it slides you know, down the middle as much as possible. And then the bottom hand, you'll kind of twist back and forth like that while you push up into the dread. And um, that combination seems to work really well. You can't really see the tool in there, um, and that's kind of what you want. It's ideal if you can keep the tool completely in the center and just slowly slide up like this, just, uh, just a bit at a time until you reach the roots. You can see it's starting to come out there, so you want to slide back down. If the latch has started to open, you'll have to pop it all the way out, flip the latch up, and then slide down to just below, you know, so the tip goes back in, and then you can continue going up. When you're getting used to it, you'll pop out of the dread a lot and have to keep putting it back in. But after you start to get the hang of it, you know, you'll pop out less and less. Eventually, you'll have the entire dread bunched up on the tool, and the hook of the loose hair tool will pop out right at the roots of the dread. You'll want to come out as close as you can to the scalp. You'll take the tip of the smaller dread and you'll hook it through the hook in the loose hair tool and then pull it up inside the dread. You'll need to spin the tool back and forth a little bit. In some cases, if the bottom or the very tip of the smaller dread that you're pulling in is much wider than the rest of it, it might actually be a lot easier to clip the tip off and then just insert the smaller part so we're going to go ahead and cut this dread. And if you want, we can look inside. Wax does not build up inside your dreads. Fascinating. All right, so anyway, now that we have the wide part of this clipped off, we can pull it up inside the other dread. And when you get to the point where you can't pull any more because there's no more dread left to pull in, then you just tip it over to the side and pop the tool out. All right, and the latch will be open. And you close the latch and pull the tool out. All right, and after you've pulled the tool out, then you just palm roll it really well. One of the great things about this method is that after you've pulled the smaller dread up inside the larger one, you can't see it at all. And of course, you know, because you've combined these two, the dread is now nice and thick and it feels really good. So um, that's an excellent way to go if you have a situation that will work for that. I hope that works out well for you guys. If you have any comments or suggestions, hit me up on Twitter or on Facebook. All right, we'll see you guys later. Take care. Bye.
Yeah.